For this film analysis, I watched The Revisionaries, which was a film about the Texas State Board of Education and their revision of the Texas curriculum standards and their selection of textbooks for their students. And um, after watching this film, I was able to form the opinion that I believe politics and religion should be left out of creating curriculum standards and choosing textbooks because those are governmental issues, regardless of personal beliefs of the creators of the standards for the sake of educating all children, especially those who do not share those beliefs. So in this analysis, I'm going to be talking about the issues that the, the film presented, the myths that the film presented, and what I learned from watching the film. The issue that the film presented were, was one of them was the influence on education by the politicians who are in charge of creating the standards and choosing the textbooks and how much politics and religion come into the creation of the standards, even though they are supposed to be like scientific and based on fact, um, specifically in this movie regarding evolution and also some social studies standards, but for the analysis, I'll be focusing on the science standards that the State Board of Education knowingly selected textbooks that had false or did not include certain important information, and they ignored the um, theories of scientists and experts. At one point, Don McElroy, who was the chair of the committee, was just saying that basically he didn't really care what the experts had to say. He did not want to listen to the experts because their fact that is widely accepted conflicted with his own personal and religious views. At first, it was harder for me to watch the film because I also am a Christian and hold some similar views, but I extremely disagreed with the way that John McElroy and others let their views influence the education of children in their state. I don't think that there is any place for personal, political, or religious views in something that is important, that is as important as creating curriculum standards and choosing textbooks. Um, the myth that this one presented, for me, a myth was that the standards and textbooks are adopted and selected by teachers and educators. The two main people focused on in the film, Don McElroy and Cynthia Dunbar, neither one of them are educators. Don McElroy was a dentist, Cynthia Dunbar was an attorney. So that was something for me that was in this. I always figured that the standards would be created by teachers who know how they will work in practice and have a better idea of what the classroom environment is like. Um, I also thought that textbooks were all facts. That was another myth is that, yes, textbooks are fact, but they do sometimes leave out things like this, especially in these Southern school districts, like in Texas. And another one was that standards are all based on science and fact. Obviously the standards in Texas were not based on fact and their textbooks weren't either because they omitted this fact about evolution just to cater to the um, religious and political views of the members of the committee. I learned from this film how much pull these politicians have when it comes to the choices in education. I didn't realize that the textbook choices in Texas influence the rest of the United States because that's where a lot of the publishers are located. So the other states follow Texas's lead on which textbooks they select. And if they select the ones that are not as scientifically sound that ignore experts' views on evolution just because of their personal views, then they influence education for the rest of the country. That is like 15 people on their board of education who are influencing the education for the entire country of students. It also taught me how much debate there is over the issue. Um, it wasn't really something we talked about in my Southern public schools. We didn't necessarily learn about evolution and it was something that we talked about, but I didn't really know that it was still an issue. I thought that it was just something that was accepted and taught and that 
religion and politics were left out of it. After watching the film, I think it's extremely important that religion and politics be left out of such an issue as education, because first of all, not all students are going to share that same religion and politics. So we're not indoctrinating students into any way of thinking by teaching them any kind of scientific fact or a fact that is at least widely accepted. So the chairman, Don McElroy, was doing the students a disservice just because of his own political and personal views. I think there's nothing wrong with having convictions and having these views, but I think letting that affect your professional life is inappropriate. And in doing that, he influenced education for a lot of students and he ignored experts and ignored science. And students were given um, a lesson in education. They were completely not taught about one important fact of science just because of his own personal views. 